Okay, in this portion of the video, we're going to show how to edit the Trend 100 file using the hex editor. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Trend 100 folder. I'm going to literally drag and drop it down on the hex editor icon. This will open it up for us for editing. Now you'll notice on the side here we've got what's called the offset values. Um, we need to scroll down according to GRUP TNT's uh, post. We're going to follow everything exactly. We're going to scroll down to 1B810. Okay, so here we are. Now, as you'll see here, he's, he's conveniently put X's in place of the serial number. That makes it real easy for us to find it and replace the items. Um, click in front of the first X. Now, we're going to enter the numbers over here, not over on this side. We'll do that on the, the um, MAC address, but on, on the serial number, we're going to be on the right side over here. So click in front of the first X and go ahead and enter your serial number. Now, to find your serial number, open up your phone. Open, take the back off, remove the battery. There's a sticker inside that has your serial number and notice that it does start with the HT. That's very important. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter a serial number and I'm going to use one that's similar to mine. Okay, now we need to enter it again. And you notice those are zeros, not O's. Okay, so that's the serial numbers. We've entered them twice. Next thing you need to do is go down to 1B850 and we're going to replace the MAC address. See, I passed it up there. All right, and again, he's, he's conveniently replaced the MAC address with these A's. That makes it easier for us to find where we need to enter the number. Um, so again, click in front of the first A's. Okay, now it's important to note here that you need to enter your MAC address in reverse. Um, if you look at the post by GRUPTNT, um, he explains that pretty carefully. But basically, if your address is 010203, you're going to enter it in the exact opposite direction, 030201, etc. Of course, there's more characters here than that, but you get the idea. So click in front of the first A's. I'm going to go ahead and enter a MAC address here. Now what I think I'm going to do is enter a MAC address that you could actually use in case you don't have a MAC address. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay. So I've entered a MAC address that, like I say, it's, um, it's part of an actual MAC address and part made up. And I don't know the legalities of this. I think it's okay to do this. I, I don't know. I've heard some people say it's illegal to change a MAC address on a device. The only problem you would run into here is if you and somebody else were at the exact same place at the exact same time, and you both tried to access the exact same LAN at the same time, it's very unlikely. But anyways, that's why everybody has a different MAC address. Um, okay, now that we've entered the MAC address here, we're going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to close this. Now you notice here, um, it has created a backup of our original file. And the trend 100 NB is now our new file. So I'm going to take the trend, in, trend 100 NB file, drag it over here to the MIDI folder, because that's where we'll be using it next. Drop it there. And I will be back in a moment with the rest of this.